I don't know about you guys, but when I buy anything, I am reading all of the product reviews. I'll read the one star all the way up to the five star. I want to know the nice things, I want to know the bad things, and I want to know the in-between. If you spend as much time as I do in the review section, you do find some gold in there. Some of the most hilarious and psychotic people you will ever meet in your entire life exist in the reviews section of your favorite products. And to prove that today, we went on Amazon and found some interesting reviews. The first product on board we have here is an old school sex doll. We got a lovely review from Brett. He gave it four stars and he said, great doll, beautiful face piece, very lifelike, except one big problem, no holes. I would say that's a gigantic problem, Brett. It's a, supposed to be a sex doll. I had to use my imagination and a pocket knife. What? Very disappointed with this oversight, but still made for great company on my trip to Miami. I don't know why he gave this fucking thing four stars. It's got no hole in it. You can't fuck it. You know, what's the point of, what's the point of that? It's just a balloon at that point. Also, use your imagination and, and use a pocket knife. I don't know if this is like a murder fantasy or if you just don't understand how like air works. You take a knife to this thing, it's no longer a blow-up doll, babe. Next up, we have this paperback book, uh, 50 Dirty Naughty Erotic Short Stories, an erotica collection for adults. Is it necessary to write for adults? Like, obviously this isn't for fucking kids, you weirdo. Steve Bingham says, save your money. Gave it a one star, lousy, with high chapter headings. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Like the headings of each chapter are too high on the page. <laughs> what the fuck about that, Steve? Staying on the topic of sex books, we have 30 erotic thrills. 30 dirty, filthy, and hot love... Dude, way too many fucking adjectives. Come on, it's like a fucking Mad Lib right now. Dirty... No. 30 dirty, filthy, flirty, fucking fiction collection. Whatever the hell it is. 30 dirty, filthy, and hot love-making adult fiction collection. Seven dollars, okay? The only review on the dirty, flirty, filthy, fucking whatever the hell, is this one star. He said, not 30, maybe 20. Stories repeat themselves. Written by ESL students who have no grasp of grammar. Save your money. Goddamn immigrants came in here and st stole our job. They can't even write their novels correctly. The grammar sucks. I will say this, though. False advertising. If you're going to tell me that there's 30 dirty, flirty, fucky, stinky stories in here, and there's not even 20, I need my money back. I need my money back if that's the case. Halloween realistic latex masks, big nose, old man, super soft horror, wrinkled face headgear, Halloween masquerade party, dirty, flirty, filthy, and thriving. 19 bucks for this shit. <laughs> One star, dissatisfied, don't buy this. Eye position was not right, nose was pushed in, not at all like the picture. Black anal, here we go, adjectives, this is insane. Black anal dildo suction cup, ultra soft suction dildo for women, men, gay, hands free use, lifelike large adult toy, seven inch dildo, animal monster tentacle. What the fuck is going on? Uh, yeah, that's just a squid. Like, I'm just looking at a squid's hand, all wrapped up like this. Yo, 14 bucks to fuck, get fucked by a, a giant squid is not too bad. We got a five star review here. An important note for newbies to non-traditional toys. Exactly as soft as it needs to be. Flexible, girthy. <laughs> and little ridges along the bottom will press against your peri, peri I don't even know how to pronounce that. What is that, perineum? Print it. I think it's your gooch. It'll press against your gooch just right to make you feel like you might accidentally poo. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, what the fuck? Just right to make you feel like you might accidentally poo during the sexy times. No matter how... Does anyone in this whole video believe in commas? Like, it's just <laughs> run-on sentences and adjectives in this whole video. If you prepared properly, you won't, and you'll quickly adjust to this feeling after a few uses. Five people found this helpful. They're like, you know what? I've been thinking that I was going to shit myself and I've been using a lot of these things. I love how he wrote, this is an important note for newbies, and just talked about how he almost shit his pants getting fucked by this giant squid dildo. This isn't discreet packaging. Our animal dildo will be neatly packaged in a discreet <laughs> package. Please feel free to contact our customer service if you have any problems. That's very nice of them. Can you imagine that this thing shows up 
like with a sexy squid on the side of the box. <laughs> Buckle up, we got another long titled fucking product here. Aux Fun Sex Machine Love Machine. <laughs> Auto, th what? I think they're missing a letter there. I think that was thrusting. I've never seen a product that, was, that had a misspelling in the title ever. Aux Fun Sex Machine Love Machine Auto thrusting dildo with three XLR connect connector with seven attachments, hands-free machine with lifelike dildo masturbator for men and women. Did you get all that? Let's look at the reviews for this thing. We got a one-star review, very powerful with a hair trigger. <laughs> What'd you think you were getting into? It's an Oxlux love machine sex machine with seven attachments and fucking three XLR connector dildo masturbator. You think it wasn't gonna be powerful? Very, very powerful. Husband got because he thought it would be sexy and we would enjoy playing with me. I'd never used something like this before so I had the right amount of wine and here we go. It's loud, like real loud. This is after lube in three seconds. It's already knocked a leg off the bed. <laughs> This lady's in for a wild night. She's hammered, she's, her husband's holding a drill that's got all different types of dildos on it. And now you need a new bed. All right, before we move forward with this video, we do have some sponsors. The first one being Rocket Money. Rocket Money is an all-in-one personal finance app that is going to put money back in your pocket cancel unwanted subscriptions, and maybe even help you lower your bills. I, for one, get the most use out of it with the un canceling of unwanted subscriptions because back in the days, I, I don't know when I'm doing these things, but I'm signing up for things, free trials, and then I end up paying for them for months and I'm not even, I'm not even using it. I don't even know I'm paying for it. So Rocket Money helps me identify those things and then helps me cancel them or just lets me know like how much I'm spending as well. There's a budgeting uh, aspect to the app as well. So you can put in a budget, make sure you're not going over budget, overspending, and you're just losing money, being irresponsible. So it helps you be responsible with your money. And also, like I said, it puts money back in your pocket. I was paying for like Business Insider. I was like, I'm, I haven't even read that and I don't even know how long. So I have to cancel that, put the 12 bucks back in my pocket every month. And it's not just me. On average, people are saving $720 a year with Rocket Money. So they're crushing it. And you can try Rocket Money for free at rocketmoney.com slash Joe, uh, but you can pay for the premium and unlock a whole bunch of more features, which I suggest you do. Again, that is rocketmoney.com slash Joe to try it for free, but you could definitely unlock a lot more features with that premium. And we also have SeatGeek. SeatGeek is where I buy all my tickets. So if I'm going to a sporting event, I'm going to a concert, or I'm going to anything, a comedy show, whatever it is, I am using SeatGeek to buy those tickets. I think the interface is the best. I also love the fact that they have color-coded uh, seats. So you know, like dark green, this is a really good price for this ticket. Dark red is like, this. Is, you're paying way too much for that. Cause otherwise I wouldn't even know. So I like the fact that I know uh, when I'm overpaying or underpaying for uh, you know a certain ticket. Um, but yeah, love SeatGeek. I've been using them for years. Like I said, anytime I go to anything, I'm using SeatGeek. So I suggest you guys use it too. And for you people out there that haven't used it yet, go download the SeatGeek app or go on their website and use the promo code Joe and you will get $20 off your first purchase, okay? So $20 off your first purchase when you use that promo code Joe with SeatGeek. Get out there, go to a nice concert, all right? Summer's like almost over here. We gotta go to some, some games, some concerts, whatever it is. You wanna go to Broadway play, it don't matter. SeatGeek.com, all right? Or SeatGeek, download the SeatGeek app, use the promo code Joe, you get $20 off your first purchase. Horse head mask, horse mask, creepy brown horse head rubber latex animal mask? Is that what that word is? <laughs> Novelty Halloween costume party? What the fuck? This is a five star review that says Jesus. Wait, what, what is that a picture of? A gas station in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> a gas station in Texas? It's like, I don't really know much about that mask. I lost it, but check out this gas station. <laughs> Squirrel finger puppet set, animal puppet show, theater props, novelty toys, weird stuff gifts. And we got a five-star review. I can just tell by the size of this review that this guy's insane. Like this is way too much to write about squirrel fingers on your fingers. You know what I mean? Works as intended. Despite no manual, installation is quick and easy. Bro, you need a manual to figure out you gotta put the squirrel hands on your fingers? It's not a fucking desk. It's a squirrel's head. Despite no manual, installation is quick and easy and can be done by one person as you get more used to the setup. What? Did this guy buy the thing that we just saw? In what world would you need a team of men to help you put this thing on your fingers? <laughs> Look at this thing. 
This is what he says. Like, yeah, despite no manual, you know, I figured it out. I'm pretty smart. Once operational, you can perform all the functions you would assume, including scroll pops up from blanket. What is that? Squirrel in my shirt? I've never heard of these games. Squirrel looks at you around a corner and the timeless classic, squirrel is in my shirt sleeve? That's the timeless classic? What? I've never heard of any of these. I'm not tapped in. Tested on Pomeranians. What? <laughs> you put these on Pomeranians? So I think oh, he, he, was the, he, was the, he was the squirrel to the dogs. Okay. <laughs> Accoutrement <laughs> hander pants. <laughs> Accoutrement hander pants. From all the long ass titles. It sounds like, like the center attacking mid on the Netherlands team. <laughs> Accoutrement hander pants. With a, with a nasty strike. <laughs> I love how the thing says, it says hundreds of uses. <laughs> what? <laughs> hundreds of uses? What do you mean? Four star review says brown fingertips. What? These are the perfect replacement for all the wasteful toilet. No, no, no. <laughs> Take my advice and buy a minimum of five pair of these so you don't have to do laundry so frequently. Dude, it's just for like a joke. You put them on, you go, look, I have hander pants. You don't wipe your fucking asshole with these things, dude. Uh, here we have a little whale ride-on uh, for ages three and up. It's like a little dolphin inflatable. This one isn't even a review. It's just, you could ask questions on Amazon and someone's like, could I kiss it? I'm not trying to be weird. <laughs> the answer is just as funny as the question. Kiss it as much as you like. <laughs> <laughs> this review was left on a pair of headphones. Uh, it was originally written in Japanese and then translated to English automatically. And it just says, it's too erotic. It's making a sound and that's a lot of noise. I mean, pervert. Honestly, it just sounds like this Japanese guy was listening to sick porn. <laughs> and then he's blaming the headphones. His like wife is probably over his shoulder and he's like, these things must be broken. <laughs> I don't know, these headphones are weird. Dude. It's like, they're just playing porn so loudly. What's going on? This is a, a review left on a book about demons. It says phenomenal value for demon ratio. What the fuck does that even begin to mean? I bought this book for eight bucks. There's 72 demons in here. <laughs> 72 demons for eight bucks. What's the math on that, dude? That's, oh, there <laughs> That's 11 cents per demon. You can't beat value like that. <laughs> 11 cents a demon. I'm not tapped into the market, but that feels like a steal. That feels like something you gotta jump all over. Black Friday type sales. 11 cents for a demon? And you get 72? Are you kidding me? I would have bought this book twice. Well, there you have it, folks. Those are some uh, really hard-hitting reviews out there on the internet. Uh, we found all these on Amazon. We appreciate these men and women that are going out there and reviewing products and letting us know, like, really how it is. Otherwise, I would have bought that old man mask. And honestly, this video could be very useful for all of you out there that were about to buy 30 dirty, filthy, stinky, fishy, fucking erotic fiction novels for adults. Now you know that you shouldn't because there's only about 20 in there and that's not 30, you know what I mean? Also, apparently there's a huge deal on demons right now. So if anyone's in the market for one of those, 11 cents, nothing crazy. Thank you to everyone. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys next time.